What is up guys? It's your boy Eli. It's been a while since my last upload. A lot of things happened to me. My phone broke, that's why I haven't uploaded since and haven't been active in CPM and in Discord. But the good news is I got new phone and I also recovered my Facebook page. I am so excited for this new video. Let's start with the patch notes. First in the list is the features. Body kits feature is added in new cars section. So they added the body kits preview in the car market. This update is similar to the CPM1 where you can see and add the body kits while it is in the store. This is very helpful because you can now have an idea what body kits is available in the cars. By this you get to choose to set it up first before buying it and you can decide if you will buy the car if the kits you're looking for is available. Also the price is adjusted in here once you click on the body kits. You can really decide to buy the car before you actually check it out because you get to see the total cost of the car plus the body kits. Well this is not a major update since we already have this in CPM1. But this is still a good feature to be added in the game. Now let's move to the next one which is the drift task returned in daily task. Are you in shock too? Yeah me too. The disaster this task gave us before is unforgettable. If you watched my old videos, you know that I have a videos on how I managed to finish this task. This task is kinda hard back then because of the bug of this task. I know you know the struggle we have back then. But don't worry guys because they have a fix for it. Drift count update fix. Let's hope this is really fixed so we don't need to worry about this. Now let's move to the next update which is the partial localization, several languages added. I guess this is feature is the one in the options menu. Click the language and you will see in there the available languages as of now. This is a good update because we all know that CPM is played by different players from the whole world with different language. Others are not fluent and not understand other English words that's why this is very helpful for them, they get to enjoy this game on their own language. Another good thing about this feature is the language is changing real time and will not let you restart the game. This is a quite good detail in this feature. Now let's move to the items menu in patch notes. In here we have three cars added and the first in the list is this 6x6 Mercedes. You can check it in off-road menu then scroll to the last car. I know we already have this in CPM1 but it's still a good sign that developers are adding some of our favorite CPM1 cars to CPM2. How about you? What CPM1 car are you waiting to be added here in CPM2? If you will ask me the same, well I have a lot in mind. But my top pick for now is the newly added car in CPM1 which is the Honda NSX. I imagine myself driving this to Japan 2's map, that's cool for sure. I also hope they add the F40 to the game with the Liberty Walk body kits. That would be a banger for sure. Imagine pulling up in car meet using F40, that would be awesome man. Enough of this. Let's move to the next car which is the GTR A33. Yes, all of the new cars in CPM2 is already in CPM1 but still, a good feature than nothing. I also waited for this car to be added here in CPM2. We can now have a garage with a complete GTR series in CPM2. I'm also planning on making a GTR car meet soon. Comment WGTR if you want to join my GTR car meet. I will post it in my Discord channel soon, go and join my Discord channel. I will also post it in my Facebook page, please check the description for all of the links of my social media accounts. I'm not sure but I think they didn't add new kits in this car. But it's okay, I can drive this car in all stock. This just needs emblem, good wheels and proper fitment. Also a new paint. Let's move to the next car, which is literally on the next slot in this list which is the Toyota Chaser. Another JDM car is added in CPM2. A JDM Knight's car meet would be awesome. The problem is the night mode is still not fixed, I'm still waiting for this night mode to be fixed in this game. I hope they fix this as soon as possible. 
Maybe a underground JDM car meet will be awesome for now, given that they had this two new beautiful JDM cars in CPM2. Now let's move to other things they added in this update. They added a location revamp. Which is the mountain map. Now let's see how good is this new revamped map. I've seen some photos but did not actually get to roam around this map. Oh, so from here you can now see the updates they did her. Looks promising guys. Now let's check first the mountain. Let me just adjust something. I just played the game and didn't get to check other settings. Like I said before, I'm using a new phone because my old phone broke and it's too costly to fix, much better to buy a new one. This new map looks like the season they used is autumn season. It's refreshing to see the CPM adding a revamp on maps. For sure a lot of players will roam around this new beautiful mountain map. Our red LFA is a perfect match for this autumn themed map. By the way guys, if you will see some flickers or kind of lag and delays. Just don't mind it, I guess it's because of my new phone and because I haven't roamed around the maps that's why CPM is kinda having a lag spike. Maybe my phone is just started to download these new resources. I'm not sure, let me just roam around this map and observe. By the way I've seen some falling leaves back there, that's a good detail to add to in this game. I'm surprised they added something like that in this new map. I just hope it don't get a very high resources just for the falling leaves and will cause lags. So far I'm liking this new map, it feels different for me because I haven't played CPM2 for months and the updates are really noticeable for me. I also noticed the graphics kinda upgraded, it's much smoother now and it's much less temperature to my phone even I use ultra graphics. It feels I'm playing a different game guys, I don't know if you all noticed it. But I really did notice. But also I'm not sure if it's because devs did a great thing or it's because I'm on a new phone with high specs. For reference to all of you. I only use iPhone 11 before, it only has 60 Hz and the temperature of iPhone is always high, feels like your phone is burning. But the graphics is good, sometimes it just crash when it's super hot. But most of the time it can manage the game specially if you're using a phone cooler. Now I'm in my new phone, this phone is the brand new Techno Canon 30 Pro 5G. It is 144Hz, 12GB of RAM plus 12GB of virtual RAM, total of 24GB of RAM. And 256 storage. While playing I'm only using 120Hz, and it really feels different, looks like CPM2 is a PC or console game while playing in my new phone. The temperature also is not high, you can feel a bit of temp but unlike an iPhone that you feel your phone might explode. I don't know guys but maybe the phone has an impact too that's why I feel more amazed on the graphics right now. Another thing is my new phone use 6.78 inch full HD plus AMOLED on screen unlike my iPhone 11 that only use LCD. I would really recommend this phone to all of you guys. This also has a Sony camera and Dolby speakers. This was made mainly for vlogging but I can say it can do both gaming and filming. This is a perfect phone for me. This is not sponsored by Techno. But I'm open for a Techno Mobile. Comment W Techno guys. Let's get back to our topic and now we are here in Japan suburban map. In update they said that they optimized this map, let's see if this map improved than the last version. Let's roam around. I can say that this game is much smoother now, I just really can't tell if it's the game or it's because of my phone. But overall, I can say that CPM2 improved compared to the previous version. I remember before, I was streaming in this map and it's so lagged that players in the room get disconnected, I also disconnected to that room as I remember then we go to another map instead because of lag. This really feels great guys. I'm having a good time now playing this game with this smoother performance. I will try my phone to live stream next time and see the performance of it.
Whoops, it spiked for a bit. I guess it's because of the game, I haven't roam around this map again. Maybe it's just downloading resources. Or maybe it's still the same bug like in CPM1 that it gets lag when you go to another map. I hope they fix that bug. Oh, this gas station is now activated. Last time I played CPM2, this gas station is empty, we used to have a meet in this map before I get inactive. So far, the updates are looking good. We can really tell that the developers are trying to make this game better and better every update. They really work hard to make this game better after all of the backlash it gets before when it's released for the first time. I can say that they just really need more time and more help from us to report all of the bugs of this game if they can work it out and make it better. Let's just keep our hopes to this game. And be patient, this is worth the wait. Now let's move to the last tab which is the fixes of the game. This fix are not that big deal but it's still helpful for the players. The cars on sale is not movable anymore, the controller character movement is fixed. I have no idea what happened in character movement but yeah it's now fixed. The drone speed is also adjusted. And the last three and most common UI fixes, general bug fixes and game optimization. I can say now that optimization has really improved guys. This game feels different than before in my own opinion. Again it's maybe because of my phone but still a little percent of my experience is I can credit to the game itself. I guess that's it for now guys. Thank you all for watching. If you're still here, please comment W Eli so I can see the real supporters of the channel. I will include you in my next video. Thanks for staying until the end of video, appreciate it.